guys? Paul here. Uh, we are here at the Boyton Canyon House uh, over in Frisco. Again, uh, it's a three bedroom. Three whole bedrooms, two and a half baths. I'll show you what that half one is here in a minute. I just found it back there. Uh, it's a 200, or actually, I'm sorry, 200, wow. <laughs> 2,000 square foot house. Uh, this one's a little bit more impressive than the last one that I actually uh, went to. I already took a quick gander, do some B-roll and everything um, for the home. Uh, I'm showing here that it's saying it's for $324,000. It might show differently on there because the last one did the same as well on me. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. We've got the front door. See, thanks for visiting. But we haven't visited yet, right? That's what you're here for. Um, so far, I'm really liking this chandelier right above the head. As soon as you walk in, imagine going right to that, huh? And it's raining outside, so if you hear the little drops and everything, that's just because it's, yeah, it's raining. All right, so as soon as you walk straight in, right, this is what we, this is what you would see. You see this little room right here. And we're gonna go right, right in there, okay? Check it out. It's actually a pretty nice room, I like it. Got a little pamphlet, that's how I know what the name and stuff is. But yeah, welcome to uh, screenshot that. Pause it and then boom, screenshot it and then zoom in, whatever. All right, I'm gonna put this on the side. But that's a little sneak peek. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. All right, back in this room. Ha, all right. There I am in the mirror. Hello, me. How you doing? All right, so this is pretty nice. I, I would have to say that I would actually, even though this might be an actual room, I'll have to say that I might turn this into a dining room if it was me. And I'll, I'll explain why as we go further in the home. Double door as soon as you walk in, but this is technically a bed, uh, bedroom. Nice, nice day out, you know, when it comes to um, natural light. I like that. It comes straight, straight in, right there, and right there at the side. And yeah, anyway. Uh, I don't know too much about houses. I do apologize if I sound like a bumbling idiot, which I pretty much am. But I'm just here to check stuff out. Very, very big room. This I bet you anything this is the master room, but I wouldn't really want the master room where windows and... That's just me. Okay, bathroom time. Hello, me again. How you guys doing? This is a pretty nice bathroom. Double bathroom, so if you got two people, again. Ta-da. Yep. Uh, just like how you would normally do this, what I would do is just touch everything I can, make sure all the, the things are working, hot water. We'll come back to that later. But that one works, that one works. Let's see, some drawers. Eee, Timmy didn't clean. Eee, can I eat off that? Well, it's, it's normal, it's a bathroom. Come on guys, don't judge too harsh. You know you're gonna wanna clean this place as soon as you get here too hardcore. They did the best they could, which surprisingly on uh, most houses, they don't do that good of a job in the first place. <laughs> this place did a pretty good job. But, Look at this closet. It's a pretty big closet. Nice place to put hats or whatever, anything you need on top, middle, and bottom shelf, apparently. Um, but believe it or not, that is not for your shoes. I don't care what you say, not for your shoes, because that's what this is for. Da 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you count the top one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I usually do anything that's on the top, like big giant boots or whatever, if I have any cowboy boots. But I'm pretty sure you guys want to see this right here. This is the master bedroom. This has got to be the master bedroom because, I mean, what is the master bedroom without having, you know, a big giant tub like this? It's pretty nice. All right, flush test. You ready? All right, plumbing works. All right. Okay, we know the faucet works. Okay, cool. All right, here it is. This is the stand-up shower. It has a nice little little tilt to it, which I like. I would definitely change the head to... Oh, that's a seat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd always, I would always change these things to the raindrop. You know, it's a big giant um, hover over um, uh, faucet that just does raindrops on you. Uh, you can set it up to faster, slow, Slower is more realistic for raindrops. The um, the faster speed just you know just regular drops like you would normally do on um, on a 
Once again, that's just the rain. I just keep thinking I'm hearing things in the haunted house. And no, it's not haunted. I'm just making that up. This is what you would consider the living room. Check it out. I'm sorry, I have to step back here. All right, so that's the dining room. This is the fireplace, kitchen. So far, so good. I really, really am impressed. I'm gonna up my ISO here a little bit because it is a little hard to see in here. It's darker. Uh, they don't have all the lights in the thingy above there. Let's see if I can, can I spin that? Nope. It's not a fidget spinner. Come on, Paul. But fireplace, fireplace, uh, let's see, is it electric or is it gas? It's probably one or the other, but let's see, is it still fake wood? It is still fake wood, so it's gotta be, that's gotta be nice. It's kinda like having lava rocks, you know? But it's a good chandelier, I like the chandelier, look at that. Can you imagine coming here every day with a chandelier like that? I can, cause I have one, okay. <laughs> yes, I do live in an apartment. <laughs> All right, and this is the kitchen. It's a pretty nice kitchen. Nice size. You can put like four or five people in there at once. Here's the half bathroom, by the way. Not too impressive. I mean, when it's impressive, it's just not, not a whole lot of caring because it's a half bathroom, right? All right. Oh, let me go ahead and uh, flush the toilet. Yummy! Faucet. Yes, it works. And I'm sorry if it cuts out, uh, you know, right away. I can only record, you know, literally for only 20 minutes on this camera. Don't know why they changed it from 20 or 30 to 20, but they did. So here's the kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick cut through. There we go. I had to do a quick cut through because it's about to be um, cutting me off in, in mid video. So now I got another 20 minutes on this reel. But this is the, this is the, this is a nice kitchen. Not gonna lie. Look at this, look at that, bam. I can, I can definitely see myself in this. Oh, it's blurred, I'm sorry guys. There we go, I like it. It's the house, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is what you guys love. I'm going to open up every drawer because you don't know if they're broke or not. Ooh, wow, you know the last house did this too. Keys, doors, stuff like that. Cool. And then, bam. All right, so nothing felt flimsy about that. I don't know what that is. Oh, fire extinguisher, look at that. Hey, they included it, nice. Okay. All right. Again, double sink, my favorite concept. If you haven't watched my videos before, uh, what I like most about double sinks is that, you know, of course, a single sink you can't exactly wash. You can wash and you can, um, put dirty stuff in the same one, it's just a lot easier when you have two. <laughs> dirty goes in here, cleaning the dirties go in here, that way the dirty stuff falls in the garbage disposal. I mean, I don't know if that's literally the correct concept to do it, but that's how I do it. Water test. Water back on so I can test this. Squirt, re, 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 re. Okay, I thought something was going on there, but it works. And then always, always, I know y'all saw this at the corner of your eye, this is a disposal. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. It works. All right, counter test, bam. Bam, nothing flimsy, but that's good. I will be honest with you guys if I find like a flimsy thing. I mean, I'm, not, I'm gonna try to get it on camera if I can, opening all these things, but if I come across something that really seems crappy, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get a good shot of it. Look at this. Ooh, it's a washer. I'm right. I already did all that. Okay, so I'm over here now. Oh, here's the pantry. Let's check out the pantry. Oh, I like that. Huh, you got little shelves. I know that didn't come with it. You can get these as staples. Huh. Um, maybe y'all can let me know what this is. I don't know. I don't like, you know, I don't stick my fingers in crap. Looks, oh, you know, I know what that is. That's for napkins. Boom, 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 okay. I see that, you see that? This is where you would just pull them out. It's a napkin thing. That's awesome. What, yeah, I need a, you see, these, whoever lived here really was ingenious. They just randomly put stuff that didn't really belong. I like that. I would have probably put it like out here or something, you know, in reach, or right here on this wall, but that's just me. But that's a great idea. And again, hey, guys, I, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys over here for a second. I am not an expert when it comes to homes or anything like that. 
Uh, I would just do normally what I would normally do if I went to a home and check some stuff, which is just all the drawers, make sure water and stuff like that works. Um, same with apartment complexes, you know, I want to make sure things work. They give you a little sheet, I'm not sure if they do that in homes or whatever, but like, uh, apartment complexes will give you a little sheet to literally tell them what needs to be improved, what they need to fix on. I go down that list real crazy, making sure I check everything. So I just kind of got that concept from apartments. So houses are much different and a bigger skill above me, but someone's got to do the dirty job, right? All right, we're testing out the cabinets. Okay. Hope y'all like my blue hair. Work really hard on it. Microwave. Ooh, it's a nice microwave. Look at that. Can y'all see that? I like it. Stainless steel. My Whirlpool. Whirlpool is actually really good. I like it. All right. Nothing flimsy there. Nothing flimsy there. I don't know what that is. Can y'all see anything? Let me know. Can y'all see anything? Okay. But yeah, again, I'm sorry. I'm, I got off track a lot here. Um, but yeah, if you, if you guys um, know ideas, things to check for, things that maybe you missed, let me know in the comments below because, um, again, I'm not an expert. I felt. That's a little loose. You know, a little TLC probably. Yeah. That feels a little loose. But um, if I miss anything, this guy yeah, needs more solid that stuff. Yeah. Alright. Okay. But yeah, if I miss anything, let me know. Because, I mean, again, I want to be able to do a lot better on these videos. So, for the most part, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. But I know I can improve. I'm open to it. And the one thing I really appreciate about going to these homes. Um, some of these homes, some of them will leave cups and stuff like that so you can get like an idea of how big the cupboard is. You know? Check out behind me. Bam! They left the, uh, somebody left their pots and pans behind. That's actually pretty cool. You can get a little idea of where, uh, where you could store it at maybe, possibly. Yeah, too bad of a concept. Uh, I learned that from the last house. Someone literally only had in the entire, 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 entire kitchen. There's only one cup. One cup. Somebody outside. Oh, that's some strong wind. We got some strong wind over here in Texas. Um, which is very random. I got. I mean, I looked at it. I'm like, okay, that that is good. I mean, I would have. You know, that makes me. Um, I see. Today, I'm actually literally going to multiple houses at once. And if I would have thought of it, I would have brought a couple of cups, maybe, or something, to kind of put in there. Because I didn't think about that till the first house I went to. And y'all will see that video. It should be the first one posted before this one. But um, yeah, I'm gonna. Next up, I'll just come up with ideas, and that's me coming up with ideas. It's not comments and stuff like that that I would expect from you guys. Enough of me babbling. Let's um, check out. So I got three more minutes left. Okay, let's check out the stove. All right, stove, huh? It's actually a really nice stove. Look at that. All right, last one I went into was so dirty. Oh, this one's actually pretty clean. They did their, they washed their hands on that. Nice. All right. So that one's nice and firm. Nice, nice and firm. Yeah, good. One more section, I mean. And the kitchen, it checks out, except for that one little drawer there, but that's still fixable. It's one out of all of these, surprisingly. This is where your fridge would go. Uh, for those who actually know what um, square footage is, that's an idea of how big you want to get your refrigerator. Otherwise, you get anything bigger than three square feet. Well, two and maybe 10 inches. I'll, uh, yeah, nine or ten inches, I would guess, on that. Just looking at the the difference there, because I can see a little bit better than you guys can. Uh, then you're literally overpassing um, this part here. Okay, but this is a big washer and dryer section. Very big washer and dryer section. I like it. All right. All right. The next place we're gonna go is going to be upstairs. Unlike the last place that I went to, that was clickbait. I mean, if y'all watched my video, you would see that was complete clickbait. It, it was a walk up, and then it was just like one room. That was it. Nothing else, right? I kind of probably spoiled it for you, but we're gonna go upstairs here. So obviously, I'm not saying this is clickbait at all, at all. But let's turn it around. Bam. All right, so as soon as you walk up here, you get a nice little natural sunlight. Bam, pretty. 
I'm gonna spy on the neighbors. Oh, y'all can't see that. There we go. Y'all wanna spy on the neighbors? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so what I do like about this, as soon as you come up the stairs, instantly to the right here is a desk. A desk I really like. I like this concept. Man, this is so this is so awesome. I just wish it would lift up, you know. That way you can actually have the option to stand up or sit down. But again, testing drawers. Bam. <gasps> yeah, look at that. I mean this can be probably a you know a mini bar too if you wanted to really somehow transport that into it. But it's built to be a desk. And I'm pretty sure that is a big giveaway. A little, I keep messing with it. Okay, and this is the big giant room. This is what I would consider a game room, in my opinion. I like game rooms, they're my favorite. I'm a gamer, as y'all can tell on my channel. Here is the upstairs bathroom. Woo! It's nothing too fancy, the standard washer. Wow, really? The standard shower head, standard tub, toilet. Water. Okay. Let's go in the rooms. Da 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 da. Da 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 de. Do 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 do. Yeah, and these uh, closets actually have. And we go over here. And these closets actually have actual doors. That's really awesome. A lot of them are just like, you know, open and shut with no handle or no click thing, which I can appreciate. It's a nice, you know, good sized closet. Good room for the kids. Let's go in the next one. All right, here we are. Look at that. Good lighting again, bigger window. Did that one have a big window? It did, same size, okay. And this one also has another closet, but it's a different spot, of course. Different uh, version of the room. Handle looks exactly the same, if y'all care or not. Okay, but everything you know comes out legit. I checked everything I could. Uh, a couple of my opinions on the rooms is uh, the last house I went to, I pointed this out, I noticed it real quick. You guys can tell, if y'all were paying attention to the walls at all, there are literally no cable wiring in this room. I didn't pay attention to the next, to the next door one here. Okay, and again, if y'all want to pay attention here, no cable wiring at all. So if you're, if you're looking to get cable in the room specifically, you would have to get it wired by your company, the provider. Surprisingly in the game room here that I would call a game room, there is no cable wiring. So this is what to expect. It's not really that much of a jump to do, to be honest, really it isn't. And generally your provider won't literally charge you for it if you get you know services in a new home like this, because I work for one. So uh, yeah, test it out. See what uh, see what it's like. It's not that big a deal that there isn't one, but it would be nice if it was already pre-wired. But then again, a lot of people run into that issue. Multiple different providers, etc. Blah blah blah. But yeah, that concludes the home. It was actually a very lovely home. I'm actually glad that I came. I'm always respectful when it comes to these type of places. Um, again, uh, my name is Paul. I'm doing this for fun. I am not paid or endorsed or, you know, I'm not sponsoring Open Door at all. They're not paying me for this. I'm just doing this for fun. I do leave my calling card at the homes with my little flyer. So that way you guys know I visited the home and I'm actually checking them out. And if you don't see the video of this place, for example, because <laughs> today is what, the 21st, whatever. Um, yeah, it means I'm just about to upload it here soon. Uh, I will try to make sure I upload it as fast as I can. I'm running out of time on my, yep, on my camera. But I really do like it. But let's end this video with looking at the backyard, huh? Bam! Backyard is right at the kitchen. Ooh, it's a nice double door too. But somebody was not respectful when it came to, wow. See, that's what I don't like. It's like someone comes here, you guys can't see that, can you? Not bad. But yeah, somebody was not respectful enough when you come out here and they just knock over sh stuff. I don't like cussing on, on the videos. But it's a nice, decent sized backyard. Not too much of a mowing for any kind of punishments. At least it's bare minimum for those who have kids. But I like it. Uh, the one thing I, I could say I don't like 
is that that's literally the house you're looking at next door. It's like that's the fence. Let's see. See, that's the fence line to yours to theirs. But you have access to this side only. So that means on that other side. So that side is what the other neighbors would have access to. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't even catch that when I drove up here. But again, yeah. Okay, but again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to try to do more of these videos. If you guys have any uh, opinions or anything that I can do better to improve my videos, I would love to hear them. You know, I do, you know, constructive criticism is very well. So if you all have things that you would think you would check, I don't mind doing it here either. I just did what I would normally do on a regular basis on checking a home. Um, again, houses are different than apartments, so if I miss something that me have thought of that I should have checked, I'll make sure I do that in the future videos or probably revisit the home again if it's still out there. Unless someone buys it or you buy it. But yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, please. Uh, that way that people would actually see these videos a little bit more better, um, so that way it reaches a lot more people. And then I can just do this for a complete career living. Because that's what I'm aiming to do is be a photographer for real estate. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you can get more notifications. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye.